So this is uh, the summer section of AC230, uh, which is a teaching with technology course at York College for students getting ready to be K through 12 teachers in a variety of different subjects, right? So we do the course online and through a blog called apopcalypse.dolines.org. You can check it out. Um, Tons of student work made this semester. One of the emphases was to uh, think about like how um, in your average K through 12 uh, school, especially in New York City, you're not going to find the things you always need to teach with, uh, technology-wise. And you're going to say often, like, wouldn't it be awesome if I had this or that? And so, what we thought about this semester a lot was being makers, right? Right. And you make things that you can use to help you teach. And so the, 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 they did a lot of projects, but the one uh, project they did over the whole semester was a project that asked yeah. them to make a tool that they could use in their classroom over, um, over the three weeks of the summer section. So what we're going to do is we decide for the final classes to have a fair where we're going to make some stuff. We're already making some animated GIFs. I have some spray paint. We're going to be uh, 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 making sci fi things just for fun. But we're also going to be um, having students present what they made uh, and how they're going to use it in the classroom. So we're going to do a bunch of them at, at once so students can kind of show each other stuff. Does that make sense, you guys? We're going to sure. go to each of you, but feel like you can basically be demonstrating, like maybe half of you demonstrate, well there are three people demonstrate at a time and while other people are watching, so you feel like you can walk around. I don't want to feel like it's one to one, 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 that'll be more stressful, right, if you go one at a time. What do you, what do you guys want to do? Alright, so who wants to go, we'll have like three people go first. Okay. Let's do definitely Jello, because Jello is, uh, yeah, and you guys will get to make, how many Jellos do you have? Four. You have four? Okay. Cool, and we have your son too. <laughs> awesome. So, you know, Danny Phelps, you rock, is going to be uh, shooting the camera so he can rove around and, and talk to yeah. people. Yeah, totally. And I'll get people to who, who uh, maybe we'll just do one at a time. We have lots of time. All right. Do you want to do Jello first? Okay. All right. So, why don't you introduce yourself and tell us about your project? Okay, um, my name is Martha. And I did this uh, edible, yeah. cell, <laughs> edible cell models. Um, I thought it would be a great way to for the for the children to learn um, in a fun and edible way. We are uh, after we uh, we do the cells, we can eat them, and they will have a lot of fun um, um, attaching it to. Uh, terms, nucleus, mitochondria, lysosomes, all the organelles of the cell. We'll be doing a um, somatic cell and a plant cell, so they'll know the difference. So take us through one of these. How, how would a how would a student come in? Well, the students are going to make them. Get yeah, in yeah. Let's go. Oh, nice. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you for having me. Yes, this one. And then like. So, but you can you can do the nucleus for the nucleus you can mm -hmm. they're labeled so you can just grab Yum. some of these and make delicious them. nucleus. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So teacher, so take some. The nucleus is first. That's the central part of the cell. It holds all the information. Okay. If you open this up, it actually has peanut butter. So that's like the information. And then we'll do one of these too. All right. Demonstrate one of these. Guys, put it in the. Oh, you might have to tell it that. Oops, it in there? Yeah, just put it in there. That's the right, nucleus. Right, right, oh! Right. The mitochondria. Oh, you can take it. No, just yeah, one. A cell only has one. I did. I did. Oh, my God. Okay. Your project. Sorry. Okay, so a cell only has one nucleus. Yes. The nucleolus goes in the middle, because that's... Okay, go ahead. Right on top? Yeah, right on top. Has one? That's the center of Mmm, nucleolus. <laughs> okay, now the mitochondria. That's the powerhouse. It makes the energy. The this is the mitochondria. Yeah, no, I know, but where does <laughs> it go? Like, just you just put it anywhere, anywhere in the cell. It's okay. no specific location for it. 
It just, has how many? Uh, it has a lot. Okay. You can just put it in. Yeah, I have to. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> we have to put some more. So, um, okay. what Somebody about else? the lysosomes? Somebody else? Where's the lysosomes? lysosomes? Right there. Lysosomes. Oh, lysosomes. Just put them all here. Yeah. That cell digests. Um... Oh. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, the Golgi apparatus. Apparatus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take some. <laughs> Put it in there. Don't eat them. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The peroxisome. Can you hardly see them? So cool. Is it jelly beans? Jelly beans. Yeah. Also, wants to put some in there. How many? Like three? Yeah. These get rid of dangerous and poisonous substances. Wow. I feel clean already. <laughs> the ribosomes, they make protein. So these are like, you know, they're like different colors. So it's like codes. Um, these proteins are amino acids, long chains of amino acids, actually. So you can, um, somebody want to put some in? How many? Oh, three? Okay, the smooth and rough. Hashtag. Mm -hmm. Those are the gummy bears ever. Mm -hmm. I want to smooth and rough. They go near the. No, eat it. The rough. No, eat it. Yeah. They go near the nucleus. You take one of each? Yeah. Okay. That looks delicious. That does. <laughs> eat everything with the jello after. The cell walls. This is the plant cells. The cell cells. Oh, I'm assuming goes around there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a very good thing. Yes. Sell wall. Sell So how's it going? It's, it's going Great. delicious. I mean, going good. <laughs> <laughs> and the chloroplast, somebody? I'll do that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Where do they go? <laughs> they go in the water. Where do they go? In the cell wall. In the cell wall. Oh, yeah. Cool. Okay. So why do you think your students are going to like this besides they get to play with candy? Um, it's actually, they're actually going to be learning while they're doing this. They're not just going to be... Uh -huh. Putting in candy, just gonna be connected to these uh, terms. You made a killer gonna... poster too. Yes, <laughs> it's very nice. awesome. You ready? <laughs> that's an animated There's gift. Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah. that's what we gotta do with the animated gift of your cell wall. That's a good idea. All right, who should, is there more? No, that's what I. Uh, if anyone yeah, wants to take some free candy, yeah, um, I, like I, I think people have to make more stone walls. Yeah, well. you can make some. There's no, jello. <laughs> yeah, you, you, we have we have little people here yeah, to make some stone. Yeah. Come in and make some. Yeah, come in. Show them how to do it. While well, you show, keep showing them, while we'll move on to another one. Okay. Who wants to go next? Who's next? You want to do your? I'll go next. Okay. Yay. All right. My name is Armando. Um, just um, I'm presenting my final project for AC230. I've had a great time. Um, I had a bit of a hard time trying to figure out what I was going to do because uh, there's so much uh, creative ideas as you see around the classroom, you know. Um, and so, um, being a phys ed major, I thought I needed to engage the kids in some type of uh, physical activity uh, using high, um, eye and hand coordination. And so, what I thought about was. Uh, Sort of, uh, I came up with the idea um, of like a target practice, similar what you know, what kids would see in a carnival. So what we have here, I took a piece of uh, sheetrock or drywall, as you would call it, and um, I made a target. I cut a, a hole open, and I painted it. I put some decorations on it so it could look a little nice. And so basically, we have a couple of sports balls here. We have a football, a baseball, and. This is a beach ball, but we're using it as a basketball for today. And so I made three separate mats, one for basketball footing, baseball, and football. And so basically this displays the uh, foot placement for, for one to take when you're throwing a football. really varies depending whether you're a righty or a lefty, so the, the placemats here are for a righty. So for a football, not only did I uh, put the uh, foot placement, but also the uh, hand uh, silhouette. So uh, I drew out the uh, the handprint. This is actually Jaden, my son's uh, handprint, and this is Layla, my daughter's uh, handprint on the Layla. baseball. <laughs> so we have two little hands here, and they're wa actually watching now. So um, 
So basically for the football, and I hope I, you know, I hope I get it in the, uh... Wait, 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 no, no, you gotta get someone else, All right, you know what? I want to volunteer here. I want to volunteer. So we have another... All right, yeah, yeah. That'll be cool. We have another, uh, another fellow PE major here, Michael. And, uh, I guess we'll test out the, uh, football. <laughs> So you don't have to step on the mat, but basically, you know, follow the same. Yeah, pull. yeah, exactly. Follow the same okay. pattern, take a step, okay. and then, as you know, you a stop. Mm -hmm. you, uh, put, you uh, place your feet correctly. Mm -hmm. You look and you try and throw at your target. Okay. Take two steps Lassie. with the left? No, just one. Uh, take one step and then yeah. throw at your target. Okay, okay. So follow the and then. Y'all gotta edit that. Y'all gotta edit that. <laughs> 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 Alright, I gotta make this. What did you do wrong? So now, with basketball, it's a little bit different. Um, I couldn't bring a basketball hoop in. So what I did was um, pretty much we're going to act as if we're passing the ball. For basketball, whether you're righty or lefty, it depends. You either take a step and you pass the ball, or with your right foot, you step and you pass the ball. So I need a volunteer just for uh, trying to pass the ball. I guess as if you're passing it to an opponent and trying to target. Ladies. Yeah, let's get I forgot. Someone has an all toys, all, all toys stove they've built, so I'm going to set them up on the roof, right? Okay. And maybe I'll set the spray paint, so. Yeah. At any time, take over, just go to the next one, too. With okay, that. okay. And then you just pass, to try and get the uh, ball. You pass the ball. Yeah, you're going to try and get it in the, in the target. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now try the baseball. See, this is the way you would grip the ball. We'll go like at the end, we'll have people spray painting. And then do the same. Take a step and then. <laughs> okay, we can work on our aim. So that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we're going to move on to the next uh, to the next project. Thank you. Awesome. All right, all right, all right. All right. All right, who wants to go next? Yeah. Here's yeah, the project. <laughs> Me? Huh? Okay. Hi, everybody. Hello. Hello. Hi, my name is Malika. Um, this is my final project. Okay, I can't basically compare it to everybody else because they're, like, really awesome. But anyway, <laughs> let me ask you guys a question. How many of you are clean and how many of you are dirty? Oh, wow. Well, I, I, I don't know if you're clean. Whoa. Well, what do you call <laughs> Clean, dirty, whatever. I mean, like, as in household. Okay. Thing. Like, clean, dirty, whatever. No? no? Okay, in between, whatever. Okay, so like, say you're in a dorm, right? Or even at home, and you just, you have a bunch of trash in a trash can, you don't even know, like, there's no reminder. It's sitting there, it's growing mold, it's growing yeast and whatever. Think of jiggy is growing your, in your garbage can. Now, my invention is called the reminder. The reminder means that this flag will actually come up to tell you that there's a warning, 90% full, so you could take out your trash. Now, let's dem let, me, let me demonstrate. If you look inside, I put a lever thingy, right? It's a lever. So whenever you like have enough garbage, if the lever is going to it's going to raise. So, let's put some garbage in there. Whoa. Yeah, that's Whoa. a lot of garbage, right? <laughs> I got some garbage. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for your donation. All right. So see. Okay, it's it's, it detects that it's really full, so That's awesome. it's pushing up. See, it's 90% full. <laughs> <laughs> Empty your garbage. No excuse not to be clean. See? All right, all right. Yeah. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was the garbage meter. Yeah, all right. That was the garbage meter. All right. Keep the earth clean. Yes. But you, you want to go next? Yeah, we're going to go next. Oh. All right. Okay. All right. all right, all right. We'll come back. We'll come back. Yeah. All, right. all right, guys. This is very simple, very quick. So, hello, my name is Angel. I'm a music education major here at York. And so I figured I might as well make an instrument. And the instrument that I decided to make was one that I actually played. Well, not this, but, you know, a guitar. So this was rather simple to make. I looked on YouTube, we had some inspiration. Pretty much what the guy did was the same as make a hole, 
and put the rubber bands over. But I thought that, that wouldn't, it was destroying the box. So what I did was, I would take this, which is part of the hole here, and I would staple it. I stapled the rubber bands. First I cut the rubber bands, then I stapled it there. And then I also stapled it there on the top, for it could be, you know, you could hear, it sounds more like a bass, but, you know, get the idea. It'll, it'll be more, more stronger, and this is supposed to be the neck of the guitar. And my little sister did that little artwork there. This is like a sandwich box or something. So, pretty much is, obviously, this would be good for kids, you know, doing music, because they go into different, different parts of the guitar, like this would be the bridge of the guitar, these are obviously the strings, this is the body, and this would be the neck of the guitar, so to speak. So, that's pretty much, that's pretty much, and, you know, let's have a little demonstrator, here's a little guy right here who can demonstrate. Play the guitar? You want to hold it? Come on, play it? Don't play me like that. All right, so... <laughs> All right, somebody else. I need. To, come on, need somebody to demonstrate. Come on. Oh, uh, what do you? Someone, somebody hold the guitar and play. Somebody play the play oh, the guitar. Play the single box guitar. Come on. Yeah, I want to play. Come on, that play. Looks so cool. Excuse me. Sorry. So you know, just you're righty. Yeah, I'm righty. Yeah. So just hold. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It is strong. Get the sound. This is so cool. Yeah. So. Wow. Nice. So that, that that's the cereal box. And it doesn't guitar. hurt your fingers. Like no, it doesn't does. like actual guitar. Yeah, the I recommend thing. getting an actual yeah. guitar. That's, <laughs> that's my party. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okay, you coming back? Yeah. We just went through a couple of them. We went oh, through cool. the garbage can. Oh yeah, is the air conditioner? Mm -hmm. No, not yet. <laughs> air conditioner. Oh, we gotta throw some light on here, right? <laughs> There we go. Alright, so I'm Jeffrey Rubin. Woo! And this is my <laughs> inexpensive air conditioning using a styrofoam cooler. Uh. And, <laughs> and a uh, bathroom ventilation fan. Now the fan, you can find it at Home Depot for 15 bucks. And the cooler at your local supermarket for about $3. And the only difficult part is the, the wiring so the fan comes with a uh, green black and white cable and you have to find um, what I did was use an old laptop charger and I cut it with a box cutter and since this one has the three uh, the green cable the black one and the white I just connected them using a wired nut knots and just taped it around with uh, electric tape so that was the connection. And then the final step is just to add your frozen water bottle. Nice. How long did it take you? Uh, it took me about 30 minutes. Wow. That's great. <laughs> Has, have you used it yet? Yeah, I've used it. Like, I mean, it, like, are you going to use it this next week when it's in New York City? It's going to be basically like 90 to 100 yeah, for seven I'll straight days. <laughs> do you have an AC in your in yeah, your? Yeah, I have one. Oh, man. No, okay. So, is, <laughs> so, wait, how do you imagine you could use this with your students, though, or getting them to build it? Would you have um, students build something like this? Yeah, I probably will. I'll, I'll be um, guiding them, of course, with the box cutter. Um, I'll be doing that stuff and electricity. But it could. You can have this in your classroom, just in case your classroom doesn't have an air conditioning. That's right. That's right. We were talking about what's the justification for this. Yeah. Tell us your story about being a kid. So when I when I was in elementary and junior high school, uh, sometimes uh, there weren't any AC or fans in the classroom, so uh, I couldn't concentrate because of the heat. So I would just miss out on the lesson plan. But having this in the back of the room uh, keeps kids concentrated while wow, you're trying to teach them. Yeah, you have to make a dozen of them. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That'd be awesome. Yeah, exactly. so, so cool. Yeah. Um, that's my microphone. Yeah. Okay. You do... They're, they're setting out right on the roof. The door was open. Oh, it was open. Okay. Yeah, so, and I put a table out there. I don't want us to stay out too long. So we're actually getting one group who has, like, flames. We definitely just... We've had <laughs> students try to uh, set fire uh, things in here for the sake of for television dramatics, uh, but it sets off the smoke alarm. Special effects. So instead, we have them out on the roof, which uh, I didn't let them know about. They just, I mean, I don't know how they figured it out. They just opened it up. Yeah. Sweet. And so we're going to probably go out there in about five minutes, so we're not out there too long. Okay, cool. Yeah. And if you're watching the stream right now, we might have to switch over to 3G, so just keep, keep hitting refresh when we switch yeah. over. All right. Who's, so uh, who's next? Um, who wants to go next? Alright, cool. Here, let's shed some light on you as well. 
Here we go. Introduce yourself. Okay. Hello, I'm Osa. My last name is Ojo, <laughs> and I'm part of the AC230 class. And when I was thinking about what to make, at first I was going to make instruments. As one, you see, one of my class made me the guitar. <laughs> 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 I was going to make instruments, but then as I was making an instrument, something in a robot-shaped form came about. So then I was like, hmm, I want to think of something that relates to my major, which is English. I want to teach English. So then I started to think about essay structures. And then I saw a head and a neck. I was like, okay, this is going somewhere. This is looking like something. So then I came up with the E-Robot. The E-Robot. <laughs> 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 so basically how I teach it is, um, I'll first put up the head, which is the introduction. Everybody knows that when, you make it, when you're writing an essay, the introduction is always the first part. So can I have a volunteer? Who tells me what goes in the introduction? You can use a sticky pen though and stick it to the top of it. The introduction would be the uh, topic, I guess. Anybody else have an idea of what goes in the introduction? The thesis. Come right now. Oh, that works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is get, it, get it right on his face there. <laughs> And then we'll go from the introduction. Anybody knows what goes in the body of an of a essay? And before I even get to the body, we always know there's a transition, so that's why this neck is here. We always have a transition to the body, because everything has to flow at the end. So, anybody has an idea what goes in the body of an essay? Transition phrases? Huh? Like transition, transition phrases? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Wait, that was in the body? She's on the transition. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, people are writing. Yes. Who's, who has an idea for the body? What could go in the body? Evidence to support your... Uh, your thesis? Your thesis? Yeah. <laughs> so you guys sound like college. <laughs> <laughs> So basically, your reasons will go in. Your reasons will go in the body. And the reason why I made the conclusion so colorful is because the conclusion has bits and pieces of, from every part. It has some from the introduction, some from the, party, the body, and it has some from just being the conclusion itself. So many people just copy the introduction and put it there, but no, the conclusion is its own paragraph. So you add different things to it. And then by the time you're done with everything, it is the robot, and then you have an essay at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right, who's so, next? I guess I'll, I'll go next. All right. All right. My name is Christine. Woo! Um, <laughs> so I'm a um, bilingual ed major. So I decided to do something um, that would uh, benefit the students in a bilingual setting, but also like with some modifications, um, I guess anybody can use it in any type of classroom. So what it is, it's, um, well, it helps for students to work on like language skills and writing and reading, and also um, it helps them be creative. So it's a shoe box, um, decorated a little bit. And inside, um, I wrote words or phrases um, in both English and Spanish. Um, now with that said, also if there's probably students that um, will speak languages other than English and Spanish, and I'll ask for them to contribute to it with words of, from their own language. And um, initially, I only would have them do a storybook after picking words from it, but I added more options for them. So, well, this is the storybooks that I kind of made. They can also do it themselves. Um, and at the end of the week, what I'll have them do is um, spin the wheel, and these are the options that they can do. Um, with the words that they picked from the week, which is um, they can make a play, they can do a cartoon strip, um, they can write in the storybook, um, they can do something with just sounds, or record a story, or computer animations. Um, so this is, this is it. Maker Project. This is yes. cool. Yeah. And I have some bigger pants, but you have to send them for the kitties to get all messy and stuff. <laughs> yeah. So what would they do with this, with this Maker well, this Paint? this is for us. Oh, that's for us, okay. <laughs> that's for us, but they can Great. This is cool. Yeah. Yay.
Okay. Do we got another one? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. I'm not sure how you want to angle the lights and everything. Uh, over here. Yeah. Yeah. Just go ahead and turn it. Yeah. Lights, camera, action. There you go. All right. Whoa. <laughs> That's real bright. We're going to all face it. Right. Nice there we go. All right. Uh, so my name is Michael Brown. I'm a, a PE major, physical education. Uh, following the theme of physical education, what I wanted to do was keep people physically active. And how would we do that? I would have a physically active uh, assignment or task that we would uh, incorporate uh, a learning assignment, which is basically, um, you know, to get children enthusiastic about school, we'll have them pick subjects which are least favorable. So that's the name of the assignment, Stomp or Dance on the Least Favorite Subject. So now, basically, um, how you would have it is, you know, for sake of time, you know, I already wrote out the subjects in which, you know, are least favorable or the subjects in school. So now how this would work is uh, a student would uh, place the uh, subjects on the respected uh, numbers. Four, five, six. This is, let me just grab it. You see, I just randomly grabbed it. You see there's other subjects left. And even though they would put them there. So now, how this would work is basically, um, I would play music for about like 30 seconds. Uh, you know, I guess we could have like a, a, a correspondent who would want to try it out. Right, and buddy? basically, um, how, this would, how this would work is I would play music and I would put up which, which number to, to step on. So now, if they make mistake, the, the rules are here. If they make one mistake, then they'll just have to explain how they would improve in that subject at, upon the music finishing. If they make more than two mistakes, then they will have to, I guess, you know, write a paragraph. Mind you, these are students, so, you know, they will have more time to work with. Um, if they make more than three mistakes, then they have to verbally explain and write a page explaining the, uh, how they're improving that subject. So, uh, we have a volunteer. You can step right up. Who's going to play music? Uh, Can't I have you play a, music from the phone? Uh, yeah, I have a little bit of music, you know, it's, uh, hopefully this 4G doesn't take too long, you know, the technology, you know. So now basically you have to watch my hands because I'm going to put up the numbers that you should step on. You know. Numbers? Yeah, so there's basically 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, let me just speed the song along. We gotta get an animated GIF of this. All right, all right, cool. Yeah. Come on. So you can hear this. I wish we had speakers. All right, you can step right up. All right. Oh, now, you have to follow my hand. now you have to pay attention to me because I'm just gonna throw up the, the signs so you can step. All right, so look. One means step on one. This one, one feet. All right, two feet, two feet. Okay. All right. So then three. Yeah. Where are you right there? <laughs> you gotta be faster. Yeah, you gotta yeah. be faster. Four. You gotta be faster. <laughs> you can face me if you want. You can face me if you want. Okay. Four. I just should be a ton of me to it. Yeah. Five. Well, the numbers are covered with words. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Six. Maybe right behind you. Right behind you. All right. Seven. All right. Six. Oh, oh, oh see, oh, there you go. You know what I'm saying already? That was it, no, sir. All right, uh, one, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, six. Right there. Oh, see, that would be two mistakes oh, right there. Six. <laughs> All right, five. Right in the middle. Nine. Five. Seven, right. One. Six. Oh, right. <laughs> Nine. Nine. Six. 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 All right, so Woo! as you can see, she made uh, two mistakes, which is some bad for her first try. And um, basically, as a student, I would say, um, uh, how would you improve on the subjects that you made a mistake on? Uh, basically, it was number six, and um, and I believe it was seven as well. So you, she would explain to me, verbally explain, how would you improve, and why would you improve, and so on and so forth. So that's uh, my subject for the class. As you can see, the music is still going, too. <laughs> All right. And I got a good gift out of it. You so guys? Can try to go outside? Yeah, we can try. Um, is that everything in here? Did everyone go? Yeah. All right. Thanks, Montez. All right. All right. Good work. All right. So let's let's stop. Let me check and see if they're ready.
Right, let's let's go out just just for S and G's. They're ready. They're ready. Okay. Right by the door. So let's see if it transitions. Okay. Let's see if this is gonna work. We'll start in just a second. Okay. <laughs> okay. There's so much wind here that keeps blowing out our fire. Oh man. Yeah, but totally don't even have that now now it's it's completely gone out. Beautiful Queens, New York.